Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick and I'm the product director of ION. Welcome to our third episode of Ask ION, where you ask us your most urgent questions and I'm answering them on behalf of the whole ION team. Let's start now. Wait a second. We're in 4.71 times now. This background doesn't fit anymore at all. Let's try something else. Guys, seriously, can you please go on? This is what I'm talking about. All right, let's start. First question now. Player Rin is asking, so about those mergers, any progress? Looking at your questions, server mergers were by far the number one topic, which is why I want to spend some extra time on giving you a full overview over the topic and answer as many questions as possible this way. As promised, in the last Ask Iron, we've started working on this matter right after the release of 4.71 at the end of last month. As I already mentioned then, server mergers are a rather delicate thing and are not to be rushed too much, as the possible implications are indeed huge. Let's have a look at the positive aspects first. There are mainly two points. One, increased population. When you have two servers with 1,000 players each that are merged together, in the end you have 2,000 players now, which is double the amount. This means easier finding of groups, more traffic in the auction house, better open world PvP, higher participation in sieges and such. Second point, optimize balance. If your server has a balancing issue, merging it with another server that has a better or opposite imbalance, the newly merged server now has a perfect balance and PvP is just way more fun. That's about the positive sides, now let's have a look at the downsides. One, worsen the balance. Haven't I just said the balance gets better? Well, it does indeed, but only for the server that has the bigger balancing problem. Server merges would be perfect in a world where there are exactly as many servers with too many Ilios players as there are with too many Asmodian players. In reality though, there are not that many servers where there are more Asmodian players than Ilios, and even if it is, it's just a little over 50%. So with merging them, you don't really change anything regarding the total numbers, you just shift the imbalance. And on some servers then it gets a bit better, on others it gets worse. In the end, the total imbalance just stays the same. The second downside is basically everything where there are two things that can't exist in parallel on one server. One is the player name, for example. When two players have the same name, the one that has the younger name will get a forced name change. We will send him a free name change ticket, of course, so that he can choose a new one that is not used until then, but he'll probably still feel rather bad about this. Another point are the legion names. This can be done freely by yourself, but still, some legions will lose their name. Another downside is the ranking, which of course is very important for you guys, because all your hard work is being put into that. When the servers are merged, your rank will probably change because on the other server there will be players with a higher honor point score than yourself. And in addition to this, there is gear that is linked to a certain rank that you have. And here we're working on a way to make you keep your gear after the merge, but normally you would just lose that gear. And we hope that we can find a way that you can keep your gear, but it's just not definitely set yet. The final downside is regarding the housing. It's plain and simple, your houses will be lost. That's just it. We cannot do anything about that because the two houses cannot exist in parallel on one server. The question is what's going to happen to the stuff that you've purchased that is within the house. And that is what we're looking into to make it happen that you will be recompensated with the stuff that you've purchased before, but we cannot guarantee yet that all data can be gathered correctly and that we can really do that without having the risk of uh, creating too many issues with that. All in all you see that the server merges do indeed increase the population on the server, which is a great thing. But they do come with quite some downsides that need to be well prepared. As with all the things that we're working on, our goal is to increase your happiness with your favorite game and we just need to make sure that this will be the case indeed, especially with the server merges. And now to a small interlude. In our videos we've often been using one of our little Shugo plushies. And we know that many of you would like to get one. That's why we thought about ways how to make this happen and finally came up with... Catch a Shugo!
Oh well, something like that. Anyway, send us an email to shugo at ironfreetoplay.com and tell us why you deserve to catch a shugo. If you're chosen, we'll send you a shugo plushie and all you have to do is record a funny video of yourself catching the shugo. Your video will then be included in the catch a shugo part of the next Ask Ion. Looking very much forward to that. Next question is from our player Brian Van Gils. He's asking, when are you going to delete the possibility of leaving the Runatorium early? Currently in the Runatorium arena, when all other players have left, it is not possible for the remaining players anymore to gather the additional rewards. This is a really annoying issue um, and NCS is working on a fix for that, but they can't tell yet when the fix is going to be provided. Um, it will probably come with 4.75 or even 4.8, but there also might be a sooner bug fix release with what we're working on. We'll keep you posted. Our player Patricia is asking, Master Server would bring back lots of old school Ion players. Just saying. Now that's not really a question, but I still want to answer it maybe more from a personal side. From all the recent MMOs I've played, I think Ion is the one that requires the most playtime for reaching the highest level with the best possible gear. And from what we know about the Master Server, I think that lots of people have a too strong vanilla view on this and disregard the downsides. There is a reason why Ion has changed to what it is today, and I have my doubts about the ongoing popularity of the Master Server. But of course, we'll see. In the next question, Healer Move Time asks, when will we get patch 4.75? Well, quick answer here, 4.75 will be released on the 17th of June. Biggest features, new Mana Stone system and full Pangea, including Antriksha. Sebastian Strasser is asking, are there any news about the fix of the Curse Cloud slash Word of Destruction bug in Pangea? Are you able to ban the people who take advantage of this bug? The bug Sebastian is referring to is about the resurrection stones of each group that are located behind a gate. The bug is that these stones can actually be damaged by AoE spells without destroying the gate first. Before resetting the siege, the defending group had a big advantage from this. Currently we are resetting the siege every time, so it's not one-sided anymore, and everybody can make use of this if they like. But it is a bug though, and the long-term goal is to have it fixed by NC ASAP. In our next question, the player really really is asking, why are you not able to post informations about upcoming events before the end of your maintenance? It is really annoying. Yep, yeah, I have to admit that we are also not happy with that. And there have been some issues with the events as well. We are already working on optimizing our processes so that we can provide this information sooner and have the events running more smooth in the future. So sorry for that, we'll improve it. Patricia Chubek is asking, could we finally get a fix on the constant server ping spike issues that have been brought up on the forum so many times, instead of ignoring the problem experienced by so many people of the community? And no, it's not the ISP's issue, it's your laggy servers. OBJECTION! We're taking this very seriously, indeed. And in almost all cases that we check, it's definitely not our laggy servers, but indeed an ISP issue. We can also prove this with the trace routes that we have. Also in general regarding this topic, Pascal, our technical mastermind, has covered this in length during our live stream. But as lots of you might have missed that, we created an FAQ entry about this. And for all of you who have missed the live stream, we prepared the best scenes for you. Please enjoy that now. Greetings, Devas! Hi, guys and girls. It's the Ion Livestream. This a uh, content update. Why are you laughing now? I'm, I'm still watching the comments. And then that's you. This is internet. Mm. What am I going to wear tonight? I promise I will read all of the things that are going to be said here. And if it's, for example, a ban, we also check off course. I can draw a movie. What do you, what do you think? The guy in the Katowice shirt. Does anyone have a good idea for a name for Four, this guy? Post a comment. Three, two, one, zero. Go live, open the gates. In our next question, player Richard Sadi asks, when are you going to bring some of the old events back, like the Doctor event, the Ice Hammer event, and the event where everyone was farming the Fire Temple for the items as there were chests in Sanctum? The Doctor event slash Healing Camp event will start again on the 13th of May. So it probably will be running when you're watching this video. Regarding the other events, we'll try to see what we can do. As I said in the first Ask Ion, the Alchemy event was actually bugged and never intended that the Fire Temple can be formed by high level chars. Geoffrey Leclerc is asking, when will there be the next Shugo Imperial Tomb? Well, it's running now, we hope you like it. Demange Dorian asks, why you take European players for idiots? Event, cash shop, reduct bonus? Well, let me think, mm, no we don't, it's rather the opposite. 
Player Xuzis is asking, any chance for events which reward players for outstanding performances? Well, rewarding players for in-game achievements is actually something we've had in mind for quite some time now. It's too early for more information and it won't happen anytime soon, but keep an eye out for that. Fanboy the Cleric asks, are we ever going to get a two-seater mount? Well, a two-seater mount is actually something that we've discussed with Korea during our last workshop, um, as all of us here would die for that, but it is not confirmed yet and we'll just have to keep our hopes up. Sue is asking, could it be possible to let Ion characters marry in the future? I'm afraid we don't have any information on that at the moment, so I'm afraid it's not going to happen anytime soon. The next question is from Valentin Dobria. He's asking, is there any chance to implement a pill or a mask to become able to kill your own faction? Some are really annoying and deserve punishment. I have to admit this was my favorite number one question all time until now in the Ask Ion and Valentin, you rock. Um, seriously, there are no plans for that, I'm afraid. And once again, we've come to an end, dear players. Thank you very, very much for all of the questions that you have sent us. They are getting more and more every time we're doing this, which is great. I hope you really are enjoying this format. Um, please send us your feedback on what we're doing here, on the new background and everything, uh, through Twitter, Facebook, forums, or whatever you like. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next episode, to the next bunch of questions that you are going to send us. Take care until then, have fun with 4.71 and then 4.75 also, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye!